we're kind of lost again we're on a road we aren't really sure where it goes we took a turn and it kind of got off the beaten track we came across this little area right here and all the houses are dilapidated and burnt out look at that look at that there just huge net what a place to live though right by our little river and we're really we don't know where we're at we're the lost RVers by the way Cal Root Peg and wife and you know being lost it doesn't really mean being lost it means you took a turn you shouldn't have turned to and Lolita here Lolita 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 uh, rerouted us it's about a nine mile well it was about a 15 mile road yeah, it's really bumpy. I mean, really bumpy. I'll just show you the front end as we're going down here. Man. It's just the back. If your trailer hit, look at that, look at that. Yeah, it's like riding a funky Bronco. If your trailer hitches just in, if that ball or that hook is weak, it's, <laughs> you're going to be dragging that sucker by its chains. Anyway, look at this. It's beautiful out here. It's just, look at the gorgeous. Green. Just look at those trees. Look at the, I think they were planted. They all look like they're in rows, same height. I think, I think what happened, they came out to Oregon and they just, they clear cut at all these mountains and they replanted it probably, you know, 60, 70 years ago, whatever. And all these hills look like, like Christmas tree farms. But with, look at it, look at that up there. I can't zoom in at this moment. Uh, I'm driving this road. Look at that, it's just, it's just so picturesque, everywhere. And it's not like, you know, I mean, the touristy places are, but it's not like it's fake, fake retro. This is like just the way people live out here. It's still old fashioned and uh, slow moving, I guess. But okay, put this phone down, pull out, quarter mile. All right, just a quick update. On our way to Warrington, the furthest northwest city in Oregon. Something like that. Bye. I don't want to crash here. Okay, we're desperately lost. I'm not even joking. Oh, look at this cows. But look at this scenery. Anytime we get lost, you get to come up. We're, we're at some cow place that we try to turn around in. They're kind of coming out looking at us going, who are these people? Oh. But we're hopelessly lost. It's saying going back to Telemuk and then it says Portland. I think we're about 20 miles. I think we're about 20 miles off the beaten. I think we're lost. We should be on 101, right? Over there. Way over there along the coast, according to the map. But Lolita here, which is the GPS device, said turn here and we turned there and it said, whoa. This doesn't look right, but we found this joint. Look at the cows and the mountains. Just beautiful out here, folks. Okay, but the lost RVers, cow, root, pig, and why? I swear to God. My navigator, I, I've trusted my navigator, but I mean, these U turns and these misjudgments and wherever the heck we are are costing us hours and hours. But we're finding some great spots this way, so. Remember, a lost RVer isn't lost. He's just not where he thinks he is, but he still has a place to go to the bathroom and make some coffee. So that's the joy of RV. Catch you in a bit. Bye. Okay, I figured out what what I did wrong. Ah, uh, here I can zoom in. Now. I, I changed the settings. So look at that. Look at this. Look at that mountain range, man. It's so beautiful. I think I figured out what I did. I put in Warrington, Oregon as just a city and destination, but three Warringtons popped up and I may have pushed Warrington, Alaska or Warrington, Boston or Warrington, Massachusetts or something. And I was kind of guiding us back to I-5 to get us, get us down to, I don't know, Highway 40 going east. Uh, but we found where we're going and we're only uh, 16 miles We've just traveled about 15 miles, and uh, it was taking us into Portland. So now we're on, we're, we're uh, 16 miles, and we're going to be back on on track. All right, but we found this beautiful mountain range, right? That was worth it. Look at that. Look at this mountains, man. Big flat areas. 
farm country. No doubt cheese country. All right, we're gonna go back on the road and just see if we can get to that place to eat. We're hungry, again. We're coming up to the something. We're coming into Some Astoria. Okay. In Oregon. Finally, after about a two hour tour. And we know one thing for sure that bumper hedge and the ball are in great shape because we took a trampoline of a road for I think 32 miles for no reason. But we're back on track. We're heading into Astoria. We aren't staying here, but we're going to check it out. But look at this bridge. Oh, we have to go. This is the first bridge. I thought look it was at the a bridge in the distance, though. I can't, I can't. I'm going head to head with people coming okay. at me at 50. So, whatever picture you have is the picture you're going to get. My wife's, my wife's doing it. She'll move it around. Oh, bounce it up and down. But look at that we're bridge. We're not going back to cross that bridge. We are? How do you know? No, we're not. Well, oh, unless we wait, go that way and then. No, that's. Um... So we're going to come out of Astoria. I think we're just going to do another couple of hours, maybe an hour and a half, and, and camp at five because we went to Cheeseville. Tillamook. Tillamook. So you got to go. If you come out this way, it's a must-see. Brand new building. Which way? We didn't plug any any information into anything. Uh, yeah. I don't know where we're going. I don't know. Yeah, we did. I thought we did Astoria. Nope. Uh, oh, it's traffic. But it's a must-go. It's a must go. And around. Traffic circle. Traffic circles with trailers are fun. Astoria. Okay. Anyway, it's a brand new building. It's spent millions and millions of bucks on it. You'll see it in the video, or you saw it in the video. Uh, but it's just cool. You just buy your cheese and sausage and crackers, and that way you can take off next stop at the Vista Point. Oh, and uh, uh, salmon, smoked salmon in the pack. They're about thirteen bucks. The cheese was about how much was the cheese? Six, seven dollars. The crackers were six, seven dollars, and the. Uh, what else did we got there? Smoked salmon was Smoke 19. Smoked salmon was 19. We got the most expensive one. But we're going to save that. So right now, we, we don't... Are we even going anywhere? We're going towards the story. Oh, le uh, we're going to left to Washington. Left Washington. Not, oh, north. Yeah, 101 what, North. 101 what's North. What's Lolita telling us? If you see the confusion yeah, always, I'm blocking three lanes of this thing. Lolita saying make a left. But Lolita also told me to make a left... Or a right, which got us on a road going to Portland. I don't know how that happened. Either I typed in Warrington, North Carolina, Warrington, you know, Moscow, you know, Russia. But it took me 15 miles, just the long darn direction. Look at that out there. Wait a second. Baby, what are you doing to I us? I don't know. Four miles from the current road. We are going to go past the river. Oh, the story of River War. What, where are we going? Come on, man. Oh, my. We are the lost RVers. We never know where we are. F well, well, really, we don't. Turn on your More headlights. so than most Are people. ready to go across this. I and I'll tell you why. I'm always, where are we going, baby? Across this bridge. Oh, we're going across this. Oh, oh babe. Well, I guess this will just be a, a you know, one video. We'll run this out. Damn it. I don't want to go across this thing. We are. Okay, we know where we are. We're crossing a big bridge in Astoria and bouncing. I don't see any, I haven't seen a trailer on this thing, but it's going to be like a wind machine. Oh, man, I get vertical. I can't even I look at the Babe, yellow just look line. look at the road. Look at the yellow line. That's right. But this is uh, quite an adventure Pretty for amazing. us. Oh, man, you just feel like you're going... I feel like you're going up the Empire State Building or something. Give me some gas. Listen to this. Listen to that V8. Yeah, baby. Go flying off the rail. Oh, look at. Oh, look down, baby. You gotta get a. You gotta get a picture. Get a video, of Penny. Get a video of looking down. Total vertigo. It gives you the creeps. But it's beautiful. Uh, oh, 
Oh man, look at that. Baby, look at that. Look what we're coming down into. Look at this. You are, your camera's facing Oh my out. gosh. Oh my, look at this bridge. Holy cow. I felt like I was on a roller this, coaster. Yeah, we've been on this San Mateo bridge that's kind of up and over, but this is really eerie. So we'll just run this out. Uh, if you guys like bridge. Where, where, oh, I don't want to take this bridge again. Where are we going? I don't think you can I don't think you can get to Washington unless you take this bridge. So if you have a bridge of phobia, what was that called? Span spanophobia, dyslexia. Montavo Ebola phobia. Look at this. Oh, you get vertical and you get tunnel vision. Uh, and if you have people behind you, there's just no place to pull over. So they, you know, what, what are they going to do? I don't like this at all. Look at that. I can't turn my head. It freaks me out. So we're just coming over here to have breakfast. And it's uh, 3.55. <laughs> we still haven't eaten sunflower seeds cheese samples at Tillamook lots of cheese samples and some of us had peanuts oh, honey some roasted of us peanuts, peanuts. Yeah, I don't like peanuts I'll eat them, but I don't like them. we never do that about so I don't know what to do with this video because uh, well there's no stopping it now there's no stopping it now unless your wife wants to reach over what can we talk about to ease this tension I mean it's real white knuckle you know it's just kind of like wow you got you got tunnel vision you got cars coming at you and you're looking at the white caps and we have no idea and we're still on this thing we got another bridge to go across it's a long one huh? Bay Bridge in the Bay Area the old Bay Bridge I mean the old Bay Bridge it was like this it was like you know 20 feet off the bay and when you go over it you feel like a big wave came in you'd be, you'd be swamped same feeling here and after passing at least and i'm not joking you'll do it you'll see it you'll feel it and you'll ask the same question so i have about a thousand what was that sign um tidal wave tsunami tsunami what, uh, what did it say tsunami warning area area and then tsunami evacuation oh, yeah. signs pointing up up these hills and stuff and they haven't had a tsunami that would go that far they would have to come over you know 100 foot sand dunes and just it would have to be a tsunami of biblical proportions like 50 60 70 100 feet high but they're every they're every quarter mile eighth of a mile so and you have to ask yourself well, there hasn't been a tsunami that big since who knows when, ever, 500,000 years or whatever. Okay, which what? way do we turn I don't here? know, baby. I was just trying to stay between these two lines. I guess, talk, I hope they'll be Talk to my millions and millions, millions of followers, of followers okay. who are just dying to see how this... Entering Washington. Ent oh, we're in Washington. Yay. Uh, wanting to see how this adventure ends. And me being able to cut this thing down to you know eight okay. hours. Dismal niche okay. or station camp? Baby, I have no idea. What is Lolita? Lo, what is Lolita telling us? Make a U-turn. Make a U-turn. Oh heck no! Baby, we came. We we okay. we, we went we the wrong over? way. We didn't have to come over this bridge. Make a U-turn. Lolita just said make a U-turn. Long view. There is, Longview. Do we want to? Yeah, we want to go towards Longview. Baby, I, there's no way I'm going back. Okay. There's a rest area. We'll pull there's a rest area. area. Holy cow, man! We just drove that bridge, and Lolita, which is our you know nav system, just said make a U-turn. Make. Rest area. I'm going. I am. I'm pulling over and scratching my head. So um, maybe there's a good shot up here or something. I don't know. Uh, look, oh, we'll have to get a picture. Oh my gosh, that was like a seven, eight, nine mile bridge. Oh, I bet they're gonna be some. Oh, and of course, there's a million cops right here, so there's no way we can pull over. Oh, can you believe it? Now we're we we don't know where we're going again. Oh, this is lunacy at its best, baby. 
the first restaurant that can accommodate this RV, we are stopping. So I'll tell you what, folks. As soon as we find that rest or that restaurant or whatever it is, hot dog stand that can I can park this thing in front of, I'll check back with you. We are. I mean, this is ridiculous. <laughs> I love it though. We always find good stuff. We cross that bridge for no reason. Bye. The best canoe navigators. All right. So this is uh, we're somewhere around Astoria. Oregon. We went over that bridge. Let me see. There's so much glare out here. It's very difficult. So if I'm pointing to something, I apologize. I, I have no idea what I'm pointing at, but I'm trying to follow it. I kind of see a line. That's that bridge that we came over by accident. Landing anywhere close to it? And that that span just goes up just greatly. So but this is it. Look at that. It's a huge bay. You know, and look at that. Look at out there. Look, look at that. Can you see that? I don't know if I can. Look at those. Look at those barges. There's one, two, three, four, five, six barges. One, one coming around the corner over there. I can't see a thing. I don't know what it looks like until I look at it. That's it, so we're going to replot Lolita, our navigation device, to some point down the road and uh, try to find out, because I'm not going back over that. Lolita said turn around. I said, screw you, Lolita. I'm married. <laughs> we'll talk to you in a bit. Bye. Pretty this poor shot but there it is entering Washington right now welcome to Washington oh well I can't you can't see it hands are shaking bellies rumbling we're cutting the cheese we're hungry okay we'll be back bye okay we found a we found an out-of-the-way place to eat the first place where I could park my truck and trailer it's called hunters Inn. It looks like the show, what's the show called? She's taking a shower and he comes in with a knife. Dee -dee 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 -dee. But we're going in and see what kind of meat they're serving. It could be muskrat. It could be possum. <laughs> but we're gonna eat it. We're done. Alright, here we go, look at that. Oh baby, this is because this looks seedy. I go, perfect. We're going in. See you guys. I think I may even have an IPA. <laughs> Bye. Get it into Washington. This, I think we're in a place called Castle Rock. And we're trying to register at this general store here. See if we can get a site for the night. We're about an hour and 38 minutes from from Seattle so tomorrow we'll blow on through and try to find a camping site up there it's been a long drive we must have done we must have done 50 60 miles of just not knowing where the hell we were and taking instructions from a computer that's either I am putting it wrong or whatever but we uh, we ended up hell of a drive we saw some good things though Getting lost means you you see good things. So we're here, and uh, we'll go see what this campsite looks like if we can get one. Then I'll probably come back and I'll do some stuff tonight from yesterday and post it. And again, live raw in your face. This is what we're seeing. This is what we're doing. Experience it live, right? Sure. But we enjoy it. So have a pleasant night and uh, stay tuned. Bye. It's drumming down the bend, and I ain't got no sunshine since I don't know when. Well, I shot a man Reno just to watch him die. But then trains keep rolling, they keep on rolling down the line. <laughs> oh, oh no, oh man, we're right next to it. This is gonna be a wild night. Oh, look at this one the freight train, BNSF. 
Oh, look at this action-packed video here, folks. We're outside Castle Rock at a, a resort. You can see it on the last video, splice them together. We got the freeway on one side and this thing on this side. We chose to be on this side because she says she, you can hear it no matter what. But if you go up a couple rows, it's not so bad. I said, heck no, baby. We're on an adventure. We want this chemical stuff going by us. We want this nuclear tanker material to flip over and catch some flames so we can have a viral video go everywhere. Look at that. I love trains. You know what? They should, they should, they should charge more just to be here. I don't understand why anybody would want to be next to a train track. Look at that. They don't even have a caboose. No caboose. Oh, baby. Two trains in one shot. And there she is. There she is. You just don't know how rough of a time that's been through, how much bouncing that's been through. I parallel parked it. You saw it. Kinda. You come up with a 30 foot or, you know, you try to parallel park. You try to parallel park any kind of travel trailer in the middle of a downtown, old, old downtown, harbor town. But we did it. We love it. We love it. Believe me, it's small, but we love it. I don't even think I want the 222 QB because I watch other people. They're just banging along, man, flooring it. We're scooting. Anyway, okay, I'm gonna try to catch some more trains. That's exciting stuff. Calroo Pagan Wife, the lost RVers out for the moment. We'll see you in a little bit. Bye.